So I saw a story this week from a preacher. He was uh, sort of struggling, like I guess we all are from time to time with everything going on in the world, feeling a little sorry for himself. And uh, he met this 87-year-old man during the week who had, uh, first time he had met him and they talked. And, and this man talked about how he had lived through polio and diphtheria and uh, World War II and Vietnam protests. And yet he had this really upbeat, positive attitude, excited about life every day. And as a, the, the preacher was talking to him, he said, this must be, this 2020 must be really difficult and challenging for you. And the older man seemed sort of surprised that he said that. He said, no. He said, looked him straight in the eye. He said, no. And he went on to explain. He said, I learned a long time ago to not see the world through the printed headlines. I see the world through the people that surround me. I see the world through, with the realization that we love big. Therefore, I just choose to write my own headlines. Like this. Husband loves wife today. Family drops everything to come to grandma's bedside. Old man makes new young friend. When I saw that, I, I thought I wanted to give us a challenge this morning to do something. I want you to ignore the headlines wherever you get your, your news, newspaper, TV, um, God forbid, Twitter, uh, smartphone, wherever you get your news, ignore it for a moment, maybe for a lot more than a moment, and write your own headline today. And don't keep it to yourself. Share it with somebody. Uh, share it with us. And, and send it to us. So here's the, here's the assignment today. Write your own headline. Something good, something positive, something uplifting. And if you would, send it to us somehow, and we'll publish it somewhere. Let's start a good news revolution. We're supposed to be good news people, right? That's what we're about. And so I want us to remember what Paul taught us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Think about these things. Or we might say it this morning, write a headline about these things. You got your assignment? All right. I won't skip it, so I've got one this morning. Husband and wife celebrate 29 years of married bliss. So that's, I know there's some others this week as well, but write your own headline. Let us know what it is. Good morning, brothers and sisters. So our first song is going to be Standing on the Promises. If you want to follow along in the, the app or if you've got a songbook. Yeah, that's a good one, Pam. So based on that title of the song, let's all stand for this first song. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mean to call Pam out, but thanks, Pam. <laughs> but it's good. All of us, right? Get the blood flowing. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises I cannot fall, listening every moment to the Spirit's call, resting in my Savior as my all in all, standing on the promises of God, standing, standing. 
Standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. You may be seated. At this moment, we'll be led in prayer. Good morning, church. Um, I've been selected to just kind of keep everybody up to date real quick on everything here. Uh, so just uh, about our worship service and our plans for now and for the future. Uh, we're continuing to meet at 9 o'clock. This works out good, I think, for everybody because of the heat. Today we've been blessed very, very well with nice weather. So we're going to meet in the parking lot. And it looks like probably through at least September, maybe longer, if the weather permits, uh, for several reasons. Uh, you know, still we have to keep you know watching our distances with the with the masks. And um, you know, I I wear this thing all day at work. I'm really getting tired of it, but I'm also getting used to it. But uh, it's what it's going to be for a while. So. And we'll just make the best of it as we're outside. But when we do go indoors, it's not going to be easy. I know there's many churches that are doing this. Actually, we have more freedom right now. So take this in because when we have to go inside, it's not going to be fun. Uh, there's going to be distancing. We're going to mark off pews, entry, exit. I mean, many experience in that of stores. Um, you know, there's uh, if any kind of visiting, probably going to have to be outside. Uh, we're going to have to wear a mask all the time. So that means when we're singing. So now, again, we have that freedom. We can sing outside. Uh, extra cleaning practices. Many churches have gone inside, and we've asked about how that's going. A lot of them, they're only their third of their membership are meeting at this time. The rest of them are going online. So we have a really good turnout. So we've got more. We've got like two thirds meeting at this time. So we're truly blessed. Um, so uh, and right now, even this morning, we're working on, you know, some possible. I know many are missing Bible classes. So we're working on that also to trigger a Bible class for at least for the adults right now. We know there's a lot of controversy. And I think Mark's opening is like, you know, we're, you try and block out all of the uh, extra stuff that we don't need to be uh, listening to or, or focusing on every minute, every day. Again, as leaders, we meet every Wednesday and we talk about this stuff every Wednesday. So that's our number one um, discussion time. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, you can let us know. And then uh, of course, we all love you very much. We want everybody to stay healthy, stay well, and uh, continue to continue to pray for us. So right now, uh, hopefully, let's see the hands of how this working out okay for everybody right now. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we're like I said, we're trying to do our best to make sure uh, you know we can get through this. So again, thank you for patience and for understanding. So let's have a brief prayer. Father, we thank you so much for the day. We thank you for the blessings of this beautiful weather. We thank you for our freedom as Christians. Help us to um, not only enjoy that, but also to be uh, respectful of uh, what's going on around us and to do our part in uh, serving you and serving one another. We pray your blessings on us as we strive to do what's right. We pray your blessings for, uh, for well-being. We pray... Uh, that you continue to bless us with wisdom and direction and, and please bless our church and the churches of the worldwide. We need you so much more now than ever. Please uh, pray for, we pray for our, our leaders, for our government leaders and, and uh, for all the turmoil. We want peace and we pray that you will bless us as we strive and to bring the good news and be a light to those around us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
The next song will be Come Share the Lord. Come Share the Lord. This will also be the song before the Lord's Supper. Before we're led in the Lord's Supper. <clears throat> We gather here in Jesus' name. His love is burning in our hearts like living flame. For through the loving Son, the Father makes us one. Come take the bread, come drink the wine, come share the Lord. No one is a stranger here, everyone belongs. Finding our forgiveness here, we in turn forgive all wrongs. He joins us here, he breaks the bread. We'll gather soon, where angels sing. We'll see the glory of our Lord and coming King. Now we anticipate the feast for which we wait. Come take the bread, come drink the wine, come share the Lord. song before the lesson will be O oh, to be like thee. O oh, to be like thee. Pam, did you want to stand for this one? <laughs> We're good. Sir. I don't want to be served. Oh, to be like the blessed Redeemer, this is my constant longing and prayer. Gladly I'll forfeit all of earth's treasures, Jesus, thy perfect likeness to wear. Oh, to be like thee, oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as thou art. Come in thy sweetness, come in thy fullness, stamp thine own image deep on thine heart. Oh, to be like thee, full of compassion, loving, forgiving, tender and kind, helping the helpless, cheering the fainting, seeking the wandering sinner to find. Oh, to be like Thee, oh, to be like Thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as Thou art. Come in Thy sweetness, come in Thy fullness, stamp Thine own image deep on my heart. Oh, to be like Thee, Lord, I am coming, now to receive the anointing divine. All that I am and have I am bringing, Lord, from this moment all should be mine. Oh, to be like Thee, oh, to be like Thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as Thou art. Come in Thy sweetness, come in Thy fullness, stamp Thine own image, deep on my heart. 